Hi guys, Kirk here with the Kirk Joe Allen Classroom. What we are doing today is a foundation here. It's about three feet up, all the way around the perimeter of this interior guy right here. We've got everything here that you see and all the way around. I'm not certain what the camera will show because we're underground here with very little light. But does it show uh, the areas right in here? We're going to need three to four inches of plaster here. I've actually done this corner here because this was a real bad one. So I, I went ahead and put about a wheelbarrow here and I, I guarded it up with my top a little bit and got my corners trim plumb. We're coming somewhat out of pyramid right here. We're starting off and we're coming to a point here. So we darted that out and we used the uh, uh, darted here at the straight edge. And that way, when we're done, we can float this and give it a, a nice appearance. Over here, uh, you can see pretty much how bad it is. And we're using a, a hydraulic cement because we are going to be going coat after coat after coat. Uh, in some areas, we're about six inches. Some areas, we're about four. But the average is about an uh, inch and a half. Last thing I'll point out is they're placing a French drain around the entire perimeter of the house because obviously, over the last 70 years, it leaked through it deteriorated the foundation a bit. Over here, this was more than stucco could fix. It went inside about a foot, so I recommended that they go ahead and concrete this area here. Now, we're going to still cosmetically correct it, and the cement we're using, it's a pretty uh, structural uh, cement. It's uh, got about a 3,000 psi strength. That's pretty strong for stucco. Anyhow, when we float all this out, I'll come back once more and I'll show you what the final looks like. Another side, what I'm doing is I'm also building up the top here. After I put some more on here, I leave a little fat. I leave that fat there because I'm going to rod this in a second. You know, Got a lot of fat up there, and then I'll take this jar here and I'll hit it here. Hit it like that. Two, two corners. Okay, guys, we are finally complete with this plaster repair. See if you can follow me over here, Dale, show what we've done. This is nice, this little octagon area. And what we did is, our corners are straight. I could have bullnosed them, and I could have bullnosed all the top here, made it round, but everything outside was straight and pyramid similar to this, so that's what we meant. Anyhow, we have it all the way around right here. We got it all throughout the entire uh, perimeter of this place. It's going to make an excellent room for play and pull and foosball and pinball machines and all that. It goes all the way over there. A lot of space here in these older homes. Everything's true and these, the wood beams here are all true. Two by twelves. So everything is uh, framed real well in these older houses. Anyhow, uh, this is Kirk with Kirk Giordano Blastering. Thank you folks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.